Previously, on the chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis, we would chronicle the birth of not the fetus soon to be infant growing in the stomach of the unchiseled Adonis, but the birth of his fitness journey. A doubtful but not impossible attempt of reverting this Snorlax back to a Munchlax. We would begin everything with a fit test. How many push-ups could he do in a minute? 1. How many squats could he do in a minute? 27. How many sit-ups could he do in a minute? 22. And how long would it take for him to run a mile? 23 minutes. All of these totals would result in a pool of sweat. Must crust mesothelioma in between his thighs soggy areolas a vile stench of hard work and an overabundance of joy satisfaction and accomplishment in his mind in fact it brought us to reminisce of the old unchiseled adonis when he wasn't so much of a landline he was much like your cellular phone he was mobile playing basketball with the boys over a decade ago, back when the unchiseled Adonis didn't spend his Saturdays eating multiple pies of pizza and several different meals from Popeyes, he would spend his days putting his body on the line, diving for loose balls. Pause. No homo. Back in the days when basketball was life, and when you looked over your shoulder and saw the number 13, you weren't looking for Jason Voorhees. You were looking for the unchiseled Adonis. A mixture of deceptive size and strength. The ability to catch rebounds in a single bound. Sell bricks from the free throw line multiple times over. But look at the closing speed. Look at the effort. Look at the defense. His ability to run the floor despite the fact carrying breast women can only dream of obtaining only through augmentation. The awareness to track down balls and remain unfazed despite being grabbed and thrusted from behind. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Despite all of this, whether it was connecting on high arcing jump shots from the perimeter, catching offensive rebounds in traffic, or putting up hook shots that would turn out to be air balls and resulted in him being subbed out of the game, this is what the unchiseled Adonis used to be. And the goal is to get him back to what he once was. So the job falls upon the shoulders of I, the diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical individual, the chiseled Adonis, to get him into the gym. It's the morning of March the 4th, 2019. Did I say 2019? It's 2019. Why would I add and 19? What are we talking about? We're talking about what the unchiseled Adonis got on the damn stove. What we got in there, huh? What we got in there? It's egg whites. It's egg whites. No longer is he eating steak for breakfast. Who ate steak for breakfast? Shut up! We're fitting the narrative that you're fat, which you are. Wow. Shut what up! Comments. So what he's got Shut to up. eat is some eggs. I don't know how much egg whites he got up in there. You're gonna consume that, and then afterwards, we are headed to the gym where he is going to get himself a membership, and we're gonna get started with day one of chiseling of the un chiseled Adonis. We will see you at the gym. In here, you can see where we buy, headed by the treadmills. We already started out, did a little bit of a stretch. He got his stretch on. Yeah. So we ain't gonna do nothing too serious today. We're gonna do like 45 minutes. We're gonna have him on the treadmill, only doing 10. All right, we're gonna do a total of like a 45 minute workout, not 45 minutes on the treadmill. Look at the, look at the pain in the man face. We're gonna keep the calisthenics going. We're not gonna do no weight training uh, just yet. We're gonna do more body weight exercises just to get him into the role of things. So
all right. It's all good. Yeah. Breathing all good. That's 30 minutes. That's just a warm up. This ain't one of those, oh, we're going to the gym, let's go on the treadmill for 30 minutes and let's go home. Nah, that ain't what we doing, Jack. substitute for the rows because he didn't want to do the row machine. He didn't feel as if he was confident in doing it. So what we're fixing to do is four workout circuit. Here's how it's going to do. through the first circuit.
I do feel. Come on. Alright. Anything but. Mm -hmm. On to the last exercise. We finished the three sets that we had here. We're gonna hit some core and then we out of here for day one. You don't gotta get up because you gotta do another set. I think I might get to two, yo. You think only two? Yeah, I think I could only do two. You don't think maybe you'll get to three? Mm -hmm. my, my hamstrings are really tight right now. Your hamstrings are really tight? They're really tight. Well, as long as you're able to do another one, you're gonna shoot. And if you feel confident after the second, you could possibly get to the third. I don't know. No way. Oh, these are tight. Mm. Even when I stretch my leg, it's like really tight. So I'm gonna put a roller under there, and you're gonna roll out that there muscle. But you're gonna shoot for a second, because there's no way you're leaving here after only doing one. All right? You need water? Nah. No? Okay, but just know this is the last 50 reps you gotta do for today, all right? It's only 50, because you're doing well technically 40, and then you got 10 seconds at the end. So, you push through these here, and you done for the day. The only thing you're fixing to do after this is stretch and roll out. That's all it takes, all right? You ready? With your ashy elbow. Final set. Look alive, buddy, look alive. It's all right, all right. Ten seconds. We remixing DJ Khaled on the ones and twos. Hold it up as long as you can. Hold it up as long as you can. Oh yeah, you going even longer? Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up as long as you can until you can't anymore. There you go. Hold them up. Hold them up. Put those feet together. Hey, you drive, come on, as long as you can. There you go, there you go. You hit over 20. You said you couldn't go for 10, you got over 20. How you feel? Huh? I'm in pain. You're in pain? That's more. Take your hand from underneath your back. I can't. Lean in direction. There you go, three. How did that feel? Painful. Painful? That's marvel. How do you would say it's marvel? Mm -hmm. Steroid, uh... No disrespect. It's a lot. This is about a decade of work. A decade of work. It's Patrick Starr. Breathe. And just relax. Lay there for like five minutes. And reflect on what you just did. That's a workout? No, it's not. How is there rice in my ear, bro? I don't know. If you're storing rice in your head, that says something about you there, buddy. All right. So, how was that? That workout. Painful as hell. 
The Unchief Adonis is on his way. Day one, first step of several different steps. Soon enough, I'm hoping by episode 50, he ain't gonna need me no more. He gonna be doing it by himself. We not even gonna look at the scale for a whole month. I can guarantee you this, he's gonna be down five pounds, and you could bet on that. So I try to walk on it. Couldn't walk. I'm literally dragging my foot like ah, ah, ah. Oh no! What could have possibly transpired to have the ungentle Adonis facing such excruciating pain? Did he play a pickup basketball game with Allen Iverson and get his ankles taken? Did he fall into a trap set by Team Rocket? Did he encounter a wild Kurt Angle? Or did his ankles decide to clock out on him? Only one way to find out, and that's to tune in next week on another exciting episode of the chiseling of the ah! unchiseled Adonis. Oh my gosh!